Okay, you must have to clear about it that you are advanced students, you will not go higher. Yes, okay? sir. Whatever situation is, or if you are a, a, a supreme or super intelligent, you will not go to your level. You, uh, you will go down to their level. Okay, you will consider mm. yourself your student that uh, I'm teaching, so you will teach. Uh, then they can get you and you will provide them a conducive and friendly environment to them. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, are you getting? Yes, sir, sir. I'm getting your points. Mm. Yes, sir. Okay. The next one, the next uh, sir, point is, sir, let them listen. Yes. Excuse mm. me, sir. Sir, wait for two yes, minutes. Yes. Sir, I want to know who is uh, nothing that has joined. Okay, sir, I want to leave this one, sir. Is, uh... Okay, sir, let's start. Okay, did you... Get the first point, keep the instructions clear and simple. Yes, sir. Okay, the next one is that uh, let them listen first, okay? Okay, sir. That you should revise one thing again and again to them and ask everyone that are you getting it and change your language like ask them in Pashto, they're not getting, but don't let them speak Pashto. Okay, sir. Okay, ask them that to break the bones of English. We are here to repair it. Okay, but do not speak even a single word of uh, any other language. Yes, you can speak any other language for the sake of their uh, understanding, making them understand. Okay, but do not allow them to speak Pashto, even if the teacher are in the class or not in the class. And uh, make a habit for them or a routine for them, a kind of group discussions. Yes, so there's a man point, sir. Okay. The next point is repeat or drill repeat, which is called a drill repeat. Like you have to repeat a thing again and again by them and change your method. Like if they are not getting... Uh, while you're speaking, just perform a dialogue on them, just play a glam, uh, game with them, okay? A vocabulary game with them, fluency game with them. There are different type of games in English language uh, which comes under the activity class, okay? Yes, sir. Dialogues. Yes, sir. Okay? And uh, the, the most important thing is, the next point is that your class should be represent like that it is an English language class. Okay, sir. Like the charts which are on the wall or whatever there is in the classroom. Okay, it should yes, represent sir. it as an English language class. Yes, it means that this to make an environment from so they they become to compose to everything they are showing in we are in english language like the next one is mm, yes yes please and sir please repeat their sponsor i become confused a little bit uh, which one sir as you told about this you make the environment like this uh, in the form of uh, okay. a picture description to paste on wall Yes, 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 like, yes, uh, th 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 like uh, there must be rules and regulations of the classroom that do not speak any other language, respect your uh, class fellows, respect your teachers, okay, yes, and sir. help one another. Th this should be like the rules regulation should be passed on the wall in English, okay? Yes, sir. Okay, some vocabulary, like there should be a, a sticky note or a notice board that um, um, every day you should paste a new vocabulary, new words to them that, and as they enter to the class so they can see the words and they can ask you there, so what's the meaning of this or that, okay? So this okay, should sir. be a classroom. 
uh, from phonology, you can paste some of the um, phonetic letters. Okay, um, uh, how we'll pronounce the word f sound and p sound. What are their symbols? To write yes, sir. These. Okay, the transcription of some words. Okay, th th these should be the representation of the class. How will you represent the class? Okay, yes, the next sir. one is, as I mentioned above uh, that, avoid a meta language. Meta language mean do not speak or there will be no any other language. Okay. So what does it mean by the mat language? Hmm? As you saw, mat language. What does it mean by sir? Mm. This mean mat language. Mat, not mat language. Mat mm. language. Mat, sir. M e t a. Okay, sir. Mat. Okay, sir. Hmm. Uh, it's a form of language or term used to describe and analyze another language. Okay, sir. Okay. Mm. Yes, sir. So that, that is like the. Uh, uh, you will know about like which structure or you will just keep eye on them mm, okay. yes sir uh, here i'll just mention my own thought my, my own opinions to them that uh you will categorize the students okay yes like sir. which student, which student is best in grammar which student is is best in x introduction training okay, yes. okay which sir. student is you will categorize them. How we are categorized the students as a pre-medical, pre-engineering, computer science, then onwards. Some student goes to MBBS, agriculture, pharmacy, and many other departments, psychology, zoology, and so on. Okay, that's called categorization. They go according to their mindset, according to their interest, okay, and according to their ability level. They go yeah. to their department. Yes, sir. Here, the same is the case with it that some uh, students will be strong in a grammar, some will be in a pronunciation like the accent. Okay, they'll have a good accent. Okay, yes, speaking, sir. listening. So, you must have to know about each and every student, the weak areas of the student, and the strong areas of your student. The sixth number point is the second last point is that don't forget that your students are fluent in their own language. Yes, okay? sir. Yes, sir. Like the students are fluent in a native language. Okay, whatever the native Not... language, the mother tongue. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, sir. So you are going to change their habit and yes, that sir. habit which is in them by birth. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Like speaking Pashto is um, a habit. Okay. Is our habit or is our native language. And we learned that it from the birth. Okay. Yes, sir. So you are going to change this habit, which is very hard. Yes, sir. And you, and you get a very limited time. Yes, sir. Okay. So yes, you will look at the very critical and small points and uh, you will practice them like if you are telling them a word a pronunciation okay you will uh, find some any similar word in Pashto that this word is pronouncing in Pashto like this so then he or she'll get uh, and know and come to know and can pronounce the word properly if you can give them a practical example Okay, sir. Uh, are you getting me? Yes, sir. I'm getting your point, sir. Okay. And the last point is that be prepared. Mm, so there's main points and as you. Be, be prepared. Okay. Mm. Yes, sir. Make your mind that what I'll teach today. Okay. Mm. What task will i do to the students and what task will I... okay yes, what sir. task will i have given to them and what should i have to yes and keep in mind that the student can ask any type and any kind of question so you must have to know about the everything which you are going to teach them yes sir. 
okay so, like they can ask any kind of questions from you yes sir and sir as they mm. as that kind of children can ask the irrelevant irrelevant question from a part of their subject so what should i do in their situation yes the irrelevant question you can uh, you can answer them okay the irrelevant question as well in a formal way if if the question is formal uh, like if it's formal but not relevant to the field or relevant to the topic which you are going to teach them or which you thought them you must have to know about multiple things okay like once i was um, taking class with the students they were asking different kinds of questions yes okay sir. english language class i was taking with them they were asking different type of question there so what can we call to this thing and that mm. thing they were asking so there was a student suddenly he sir, and, start and and so students maybe they are getting about the vocabulary of these things for that reason sir they are asking question am i right sir yes, for some so instance yes they, they they are they want to learn new vocabulary okay yes sir mm. So there was a student who was a very mischievous uh, boy. He suddenly start uh, asking me a scientific question that so uh, what is the scientific name of frog what is the botanical name of this plant and he started mm. this kind of question. I used to answer him but later on I asked him that why did you start this kind of question then he told me that someone and told me that to ask these questions from sir mm. so that's why i so, sir, so sir, it's, it's a kind of excuses sir yes it is it is uh, and sir i remember some quotes from my mentor he said that a student there a student ask question this kind of question it means they are taking examination our mentor am i right yeah, they, they, they they are judging you remember yes, one sir. thing yes sir remember one thing uh, ask the people of knowledge if you don't know sir pardon me ask the people of knowledge if you don't know sir what does mean by this statement sir i'm i'm sharing that in message you read it and i'm going to expand it okay sir ask the people of knowledge if you don't know it means if you know something and you are going to ask someone about the question that you already know you already knew that don't do yeah. that don't judge anyone mm, yes sir okay everyone have their own talent their ability hidden ability which is hidden inside them yes sir Uh, sir, so, so you are Show right, sir. In front of us. Yes, sir. Most of the so students, is... sir, have uh, those students who has some egoistic um, manner, like it's it's all right. We'll face any kind of many kind of students. Okay, it's life. We'll have yes, to sir. fight with them, like with the with the love. Okay. Yes, sir. We can. We'll have to handle these. Mm, yes sir yes sir and sir may i ask some questions regarding sir in our session as more important for us yes of course <laughs> sir my first question there is sir and uh, sir for example if a new students and they are not getting english language in first class so okay. can we sir, sir can we teach in urdu rather we can use the both languages rather we can use the multiple language to realize to him and sir, uh, what, listen what you can we you, do in you that can, situation you can use you can use different languages like you can use urdu pashto or any other language that he knows okay mm, yes, sir. but don't allow but, but don't allow him to speak pashto or any other language okay just give him a one sentence that if you don't know anything okay chitala yes, sanadar ji so you can ask me question like this sir please what can we call to this 
Okay, sir. Teach them, teach them this sentence. It's very okay. easy. What yes, can we call to this thing or this place in English? Mm. Yes, please. sir. So that's easy. This is mm. the first step, initial step that he'll start uh, and will take in trust. Yes, sir. Uh, if you if you make the thing easy for the students, so they'll come. If you make the thing tougher or difficult, then they'll run away from you. Do not make tough or difficult the task for them. Make yes, them sir. easy. Make it yes, easy sir. for them. Actually, sir, I asked question for that. Uh, sir, when I was learning English language, so most of the students they are not getting something. But if they if they uh, if they determined to speak in Pushlo, so sir, uh, sir, having take fine from us. Mm -hmm. so that, that's yeah. also a, a good habit, but uh, it's like a, a physical class, so you can do like that. Is it's online class, so I think it not possible, sir. For the sir, but we have to um, to give some instruction regarding the, some rules and regulation before they taking class like this, sir. As you told us, you have to pass on wall. You have to make a poster for them like this. Mm -hmm. Hello. No other language to speak even by mistake. Mm, yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, any kind of question they can ask. Question can be asked, but if they are sharing something or if they are interacting mm. with one another or uh, chat chat with one another, so that should be in English. Mm, yes, sir. Yes, yeah, sir. Actually, sir, the spoken English is very important for students. And sir, most of the students, sir, who has uh, completed their the BS qualification, but they are hesitation and they have destruction to while speaking. There's a main one yes. component, as you told, there's a reading, listening, writing is a main component. Okay. So one uh, of these components. I'll, I'll give you. I'll I'll give you a very good example of it. Yes, sir. And for that, you will have to answer my very simple question. Yes, sir. How did you learn Pashto? Um, sir, from Pashto, sir, we have learned from the observatory learning like this. Uh, for example, if we, uh, sir, if we were, uh, if we were learning the postal language, and so, and that time we were also speaking wrongly. No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. no listen to me. But my question is that how did you learn Pashto? What were you doing to learn Pashto when you were a kid, when you were a newborn baby? What were you doing at that time to learn Pashto? And sir, we sir, from environmentally and en environmental factors also in all, uh, involved in this field. And sir, with the help of uh, parents, listen. with the help of parents, we listen to me. Listen way. to me. Yes. The basic thing hmm. for the language yes, to learn that is listening. Yes, sir. We learn Pashto by listening, not by writing, reading, and grammar. Yes, okay? sir. We don't know uh, ABC of Pashto grammar. Yes, sir. Okay, we learned it by listening. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Same is the case with the English language. It's also a language. Yes, sir. And we are uh, not familiar with listening. It's very, you know, it looks very awkward and strange, weird to us when we uh, start conversation with the Britishers or with the English speakers. Or why even to listen a video of English, watching video of English, even movies of English. So it looks weird to us strange to us so if mm. we start listening of english we can learn as soon as possible okay it's like a piece of cake yes sir so that was the main point okay sir so the second question uh, sir i having raised in my mind sir why the english has become more why it has given the priority 
and sir and different kind of languages are available in a global village so why is it international english is become international language so that's my point okay uh, once i was studying the book of english literature history of english literature okay yes sir before english there were a french language french, french language, language. Was, yes sir yes it was ruling uh, over the world okay not yes, the english sir. okay english was like a pashto who speaking in a small state or a small city it was limited to it. okay sir was it sir was it limited yes it was okay sir it is like pashto like pashto is um, just uh, is common in kp some yes, part of kp not all the part of kp like most of the people there speaking urdu yes sir okay so same is the case was english yes sir and uh, there was a group who was going like we the people are going for the telegram at church okay yes sir so at that time those people were going for their own worship place uh, i forgot the name of that place okay they were going yes sir so they were having a groups and going to that place once they stayed for a night there uh, somewhere in the forest and from tomorrow they are about to plan to start their journey toward their worship place so in that group there were i think 20 people okay sir 20 people were there in that group and that group consists of different professional people like they were having different professions like doctor barber uh, and uh, any other thing shopkeepers teachers poet okay many different things okay sir I, I think the famous drama test i forgot the name that was john benson or something like that he was also uh, the narrative of the story the story which i'm telling you that person was also in that group yes okay? sir and they decided from the night that tomorrow you'll have to start a journey, but on the way, each person ha will have to tell a story. Okay, sir. Okay, so mm. there were different languages, people from that time, the English takes start, and it was two tribes, which were called Anglo and Saxon. Sir, please repeat this sentence, Anglo. Anglo and Saxons, these were the two tribes. Okay, sir. Kabili okay, with They were sir. the two tribes. Okay, sir. Okay. They have laid out the foundation of English language. Okay. From that time, the English has taken start their history. Yes, sir. Okay. And gradually slowly they were overcoming and they were starting they used to start their businesses communication with the world and then a time came that they overcome the whole world and now english is known as the international language it's language of business language of technology yes sir so that this is why uh, i'll share a notes with you of uh, history of English literature. If you have time, so you people can read that. That how English language, English has taken a a, a shape or a body, a separate mm. shape. Yes, sir. So there's a basic question in my mind, sir. And most of the students that they are asking from me why English become international language, sir. As an international language, we have uh, Arabic or Spanish. Like this, sir, these are international language. Why is give the priority to English language? For that reason, sir, I ask question from you. Okay, uh, and I can give you another answer to this, which is very suitable in this place. Question, the answer is that the dollar, US dollar. Yes, sir. It's ruling over the currency. Yes, sir. Okay, in fast, uh, like in past, uh gold was using as a currency yes sir okay and the english people there the american people or the britishers they are very clever 
they are very clever yes they, sir. at that time at that time they wanted to rule over the world so they start uh, buying the uh, gold from the whole world yes okay? sir yes sir they bought the whole gold and a uh, trans change into into dollar so now they, they are ruling their currency is also a dominant everywhere okay sir so this is how the language change but it takes century yes sir it didn't take a month or two or year or 10 year it takes centuries like 200 and 300 years it takes okay sir it's not easy it's uh, there is a idiom which says that a hard nut to crack in pashto we said that the uspani nichi chelli it's like a hard nut to crack yes sir okay yes sir <clears throat> sir give us more to... okay sir we have just remaining the 10 minutes sir Sir, I remember, yes. Sir, I remember another question. Sir, give us, uh, sir, how, sir, when it means there, sir, when were you started the English language and why you were started the English language? I started English language in 2018 when I got admission in BS first semester. Yes, sir. One of my teacher asked me to come to the academy and start English language. so i started i have taken admission there and i did a three month diploma course and after three months like on the four month i started teaching there at the same academy mm -hmm. and there i came to know and there i came to know that english language is very necessary and very important for higher studies yes sir actually actually said nowadays the technology is also uh, the english has very role in technology mm -hmm. yes it it actually, has it has a very yes uh, actually it has a very really, you know if we know something so we can access from this technology we can utilize these technologies as we have in the form of uh, blessing from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given so so we have to utilize in in the form of different ways for the basic sir it requires the knowledge which is a skill in the form of english language sir. yes yes it is yes sir so language is just a skill okay some people think that I'll, i'm intelligent and i can speak english so it's not like that english is just language Oh, sir, this question is um, coming in my mind, sir. Why this? Why the people are trust on those guys who can speak clearly, confidently? They consider as intelligent, sir. Is it uh, good rather not? There, there are two kind other? of there, there there are two kinds of people in the world. Yes, sir. Leaders and followers. Yes, sir. Leader and followers. leaders and followers yes sir leaders are those who all time wants to learn the new things leader yes sir yes and will not care about anyone or anything that how much intelligent he or she is and how much knowledge he or she has he will yes. not care about it he yes. just learn everything and the followers he'll just follow the leader whatever he do or he does either it's right or wrong the follower will also do like that is mean dil ke lakir ke fakir and push to sir yes 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 leader and follower sir there's a man correct yes. sir in this mm -hmm. yes yes sir And sir, I think it is enough for today. Uh, yes, any question? Just one question, and then sir, you can leave. Uh, sir, okay. there, sir, you, uh, sir, you were asked question very um, in the in the kind of intelligent question is in the IQ, sir. Hmm. Sir, so, 
that you were asking this kind of question. So, sir, what's the role of this kind of question if you were uh, if you are asking questions from students? Um, do you know there are three parts of minds? Yes. Sir. Mind. Yes, sir. Conscious, unconscious, and subconscious. Yes, sir. Three states of minds. Three yes. states of mind. Yes, unconscious, remove the unconscious because unconscious is a state where a person know nothing, behosh. Yes, sir. This is unconscious. And conscious, a person is aware, like I am conscious now, I am talking with you and ideas are in my mind. And subconscious state consists those things which are in our mind. But it just want brainstorming. Do you know brainstorming? Sir, which knows in push to brain what, sir? No, 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 no. Mm. Give me the example. Brainstorming, okay. Uh, if you have heard a word, uh, you have learned something. Okay, I'm give me a very simple example. A very simple and common example. Yes, sir. Whenever you are going to take exam paper. Yes, sir. Okay, and the examiner or the teacher give uh, give you paper and you read the paper for the first time. You know nothing. Even you don't know the first question, or no question is known to you. Everything looks new to you, right? Yes, sir. When you read it once, you uh, uh, decided that I know nothing and I'll fail in this paper. Okay, mm -hmm. when you read it carefully and you start one question. Yes, Before finishing the first question, the second question will comes to your minds. So these questions or these answers were in your mind, but was in a some subconscious state. You start brainstorming. You start thinking about it. Yes. So from the subconscious state, like it a... comes to the conscious state. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There is similar like a primary <laughs> storage or secondary storage. Yes, yes, but in psychology, it's called a conscious and subconscious state. Yes, it's, an, uh, it's not that term, so it's a psychological term. Yes. So that's why I use the word conscious and subconscious for that. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, okay sir. Thank you so much. Are, are you clear now? Yes, sir. Very clear now, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome, sir. And, sir, thank you so much for giving us time. And sir, so see inshallah next time if you will come with hope inshallah from Kashmir. And sir, may Allah thank you, thank you. Your lies from them, sir. Okay, sir, good night. Thank see you next time, inshallah. Thank you. Good night.